Mr. President, um, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, um, let me introduce the newly uh, founded uh, ECLA Advisory Board. Remember this word, Advisory Board. Um, by saying a word, an introductory word, not on the board itself, but the, on the concept of power. Power. It is not a dirty word in Washington, and it's not a dirty word in China. Why should it be uh, power, a dirty word in Brussels, or in your legal department? What is the power of ECLA? What drives the power of the Association of Corporate Lawyer from all across Europe? Obviously, first, the power of ECLA derived from the power of unity that we see today among country chapters bonding in one pan-European association. But the question is, what else will drive power for ECLA in the battles to come? We all know the power of law, but the question here is the power of corporate lawyers. The power of corporate lawyers is very, very important to avoid abuse from other people. To name one example, um, what is the power of corporation defended by you when politician who find it often electorally useful to finger, port, to finger, to finger points, if not to scapegoats, um, big business or business in general? That tells you why the concept of power is important, and it derives from many sources. Obviously, it derives from internal strengths, from the quality of the member of ECLA, from the number of people um, being members of ECLA. But it will also, in the future, um, derive from the quality of our allies. The heart, the added value of the Advisory Council of ECLA will be coming from attracting and bonding with external but strategic partners, strategic partners who share or will come to share common views and philosophy, but also common course of action, common course of lobbying. Strong allies should be gathered from probably everywhere. Um, first, maybe from the media. Media which are close to corporate lawyers, uh, but also close to corporation, as ECLA is known for the C and the L. Um, not just um, American lawyer, but also maybe the Financial Times. Second, it should probably come also from constitutional courts, freedom of speech, freedom of trade, as well as fundamental freedom are to be defended and it's part of their job, constitutional courts. Obviously, the Belgium Constitutional Court member that led the 1998 decision mentioned earlier by Claire Gottlieb should be invited. Third, with regulators, are they the enemy in this debate? I didn't say battle or are they potentially supportive? Fourth, with business, and probably with Business Europe, which was named earlier, um, whether it's Emma Mariglian, Marie Niglia, president of European Business, uh, business Europe, sorry, or rather, and, and, oh, sorry, and rather than or, Anders uh, Stenlund, which is the chairman for legal affairs of Business Europe. Fifth, with probably the bar, um, they often know the value of legal privilege and of codes, codes of conduct, codes of ethic. Um, I don't want to do a full list, but this is a few sources of power influence for ECLA through strategic partners and through the advisory board. Um, I won't go to other types of source of power to strengthen ECLA moves, whether it's the scale and scope of ECLA, the depth of ECLA membership and stewardship, or the quality of ECLA leadership. Um, because um, that's not um, part of my role. Uh, finally, let me uh, end with, um, with a personal note on, on three very different concepts. Power, which is respectful. Abuse of power, uh, which I despise, which we all despise. And last concept, third concept, um, contrasting with power or abuse of power, leadership, which I value and I think is the true quest. I've pleaded for more power for ECLA, but I would, what I truly believe is that ECLA should also combine more power and more leadership. Leaders League, the company I chair, is focused on leaders, and leaders know how to secure and leverage power 
But they also know how to inspire, how to change the world with leadership. What are the leadership stories of the best in-house lawyers? Don't be shy in sharing your best stories. Don't be shy to have champions and models. By sharing, by turning to the media, by having inspiring stories of legal leaders, you will have more impact than with the best lobbyists. Storytelling changes the world. Now I'll come to the tactics and to the golden rules set um, by the executive committee um, and which are to be um, announced and, and debated. Golden rule number one, any members, that includes you, you, and you, any members of um, ECLA can um, suggest personalities that have demonstrated commitment to the profession and to the value uh, shared by ECLA. The executive committee will examine the suggested proposal for membership to the advisory board quickly. And if you have a piece of paper um, in front of you, um, thanks probably to PricewaterhouseCoopers, please, each of you, put names and give it to us by tonight um, with your ideas of members to think of. Golden rule number two, um, the members of the advisory board will be reviewed on a regular basis to update uh, the list and review contribution and honor those contribution to ECLA work. The advisory board membership will not be life membership, of course, if contribution stops. Ideas and input will be welcome year after year from members. Rule three, members of the advisory board share data of interest to ECLA, sending notes from time to time, idea, recommendation. Rule four, the advisory board is a key tool to articulate message, to get a second opinion on a high topic, and also to gain influence beyond ECLA. Fifth rule, um, the membership is pro bono, obviously. Rule six, the current list will be featured online with bio and sample contribution. Rule seven, a uh, variety of skills, country and function will be a must, a must. obviously a variety of gender, to drive up the advisory board uh, added value. Um, rule number Eight, um, advisory board member will be invited to participate to ECLA think tanks and to major ECLA events. And last but not least, advisory board member agree to comply with the present rule while they're advisory members. Um, as a finishing note, um, we've discussed on leadership and power. They go along and will help ECLA in the future. And I believe the powerful stories of legal leaders will drive fast growth and sustainable business, as well as influence good rulemaking for rule makers. So for the 30th birthday of ECLA, it opens for a new era of its influence and leadership. Happy birthday, ECLA. <laughs>